In this video, we're going over boba tea in Taiwan. Essential tips that you need to know. Hi, uh, milk tea, medium, and uh, unless I s some sugar. Uh, yeah. First off, boba. When you get it, you're gonna want to shake it. Why? Because you don't want the bobas stuck together that make them um, difficult to drink because they'll be all clumped up together. So first thing, you just shake the bottle. Number two, straw. Get the straw, you open it up, you get it. You don't go directly in. Sometimes it'll repel it if you try to go direct. You're gonna want a slight angle. 45 degrees is optimal. And let's see what happens. And you need a little power. There you go. If you want to order boba in Taipei, definitely get it early in the morning, around 11.30 when it's the best. And to order, a lot of places, even if they don't look like they have an English menu, just ask. They'll probably have an English menu. A lot of the places are chain drink stores, so they're gonna have an English menu. If anything, you could just say milk tea with pearls and they'll serve it up to you. Well, after you place your drink order, you're gonna have to also let them know what type of sugar and ice level you want. As far as the sugar level, even if you go 100%, that's not as sweet as it's gonna be in Taiwan as it is compared to in the US. In the US, like in LA, you get a boba tea drink, you get 100% sugar, it's super sweet. When I transition from LA to Taipei, I was getting 100% sugar in my boba drinks and it still didn't taste that sweet. After living here for like a month, I was like, I started getting used to it and then I normally just go low sugar just so I don't get diabetes and I can have more boba. So once you have your boba tea, you have your pearls inside, there's different types of toppings, you can get jellies, mini pearls, there's a bigger variety in Taiwan. And best of all, it's very affordable. This milk tea with pearls, medium size, you can set your sugar, your ice level. NT, $40. That's about $1.30 US for this delicious treat. Mmm. Sometimes it's really chewy. If it's like chewy and a little hard, that means the boba's a little old. I just went to get boba right now, it's two in the afternoon, which is kind of the less busy time to get boba. People typically get boba around lunchtime and at night when everyone's out. So in the afternoon, you might not get a fresh batch. The absolute best time to get boba is at 11.30. 11 o'clock, most shops open, they start preparing their boba, their boba is normally ready 30 minutes after they're open, and that's when you get the freshest and tastiest boba. And once you have the boba in the drink, you're going to want to finish it within one hour. If you take longer than that, the boba starts soaking up the tea, it get, the boba actually gets bigger, and it also somehow yet gets chewier and more difficult to eat. So. At first, when I was in LA, I had boba there. I always had bad boba. It was like super chewy, hard to eat, and I thought I didn't like boba. Came to Taiwan, changed my world. Love boba, super delicious. If you think you don't like boba, give it a shot in Taiwan. That might change your world. Oh, at 11.30, best time to get it. A lot of places sell boba, even 7-Eleven. There's drink shops all over. Probably if you're in a popular area, you'll see one place that sells boba on every block. If not, you'll have two, three, four, depending on how popular the area is. So I hope you enjoyed my boba tips for Taipei.